YouTube, YouTube, it's the Buffalo Perch Killer. Gonna do a small video on how to clean this channel cat that we caught earlier. And a lady asked me today, how do you clean catfish? So this video is gonna be on how we're gonna clean this catfish. All right, Buffalo Perch Killer. We're gonna get this thing clean. I'm gonna use a, a razor knife from work to cut to start getting this thing started. So what I'm gonna do is so just bear with me. I'm gonna run right through it. Let's see. All right, uh, first side, I'm gonna cut from this bone with the razor knife down all the way around. All the way around. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side from this bone here with the razor knife cutting the skin all the way around. I'm gonna cut it all the way around this way till it connects on the bottom right there. Uh, I'm gonna cut from there around right around the top and down along the back right down the middle. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to cut it, but I'm trying not to cut inside the belly. That's another reason why I'm using a razor knife so I don't get too far into the belly. Right along the bottom here, and all the way around the tail, connect these two lines. Hopefully that'll come off. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I already cut on the bottom. All right. So I'm gonna cut it along this side here, right along the bottom, all the way around the tail. I'm actually gonna cut this side too. thing is, is sharp. Cut around this side. All right, I think we got all the cuts in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to peel a piece of this back. All my pliers. I had pliers, guys. I really did. What I do? First pillar to misplace the pliers. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There you go. Alright, I got it. Alright, so I peeled it back. Now what I want to do is I just want to pull this skin. All the way back. Right off. I got a garbage off here. Ugh, throw that in the garbage. This side, I'll peel it back. Let's see. If I can get it started. Wow, these pliers ain't the best, huh? I guess if you can get some good pliers to close pretty good. These are my pliers from work, so they don't they're not, they're not made for cleaning catfish, they made for for cutting wire. Alright. Alright, so we got that done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna fillet this sucker. I think I'll mess around with uh trying to cut the head off and all the rest of that nonsense. I'm just gonna go ahead and fillet it on up. 
get that meat off of here. Follow those bones. So today I think it's like the 21st, Saturday. Fishing still is pretty crappy, guys. I started off at the guys from from my area I started off at the foot of Sheridan worked my way all the way down from the foot of Sheridan all the way to the Union Ship Canal hit every spot known to man in these areas and everything's been iced over yesterday when we caught that northern the uh, the water was kind of open went back today same waterways were uh, iced over. Smallville Harbor was actually completely iced over. Skim coated over. Unbelievable is what it was. So we got a ton of fishermen out there that are super disappointed. They were looking for the, the springtime spawns for the perch. And uh, this side is a little more difficult for some reason. There it is. You got these guys out here looking for the springtime spawn, and they can't even find any open ice, <laughs> which is unbelievable for this time of year. Very careful, these knives are sharp. Even the Union Ship Canal was completely iced over this morning. There was one small area up under the bridge, if you guys know what I'm talking about. It was the only spot that wasn't uh, iced over. So we had to go uh, fish other places to get this sucker. So he's off laid up. Him and his guts, he goes in the garbage. Ugh. that fin off. Get these things a nice wash down. Hopefully tomorrow the ice will be uh, melted away. So there we go. Two beautiful catfish fillets. So that's how we fillet catfish. For the people that like it, I, I don't even need to I actually fillet it for, for a friend of mine. But like I was saying, hopefully tomorrow the ice will be gone and it'll give us a chance to get out there and uh, get at some of these fish. Can you guys see me? Uh, hopefully some of that ice will melt and maybe we can get out. Like I said, I got some ideas. I'm not going to tell you what they are. I'm going to get try to get them on film. But uh, got a channel cat today. Got a 10 to 12 pound northern yesterday. So we we're still catching something. <laughs> One fish a day. We actually, a friend of mine, uh, he know he, he knows who he is. At small at, at the Union Ship Canal, caught four ducks. Four ducks in the steelhead. How about that? All right, it's the Buffalo Perch Killer signing out. You guys have a good day. See you tomorrow.